Hello, you are welcome to Beauty Hints. On today's edition of Beauty Hints, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do Moringa hair masks. But before we start, I want to show you the ingredient that we need. This is Moringa. Moringa leaf. Moringa contains high content of vitamin A, which supports hair growth. Vitamin A deficiency causes thickening of the scalp, dry hair, and dandruff. Using Moringa helps moisturize your hair and keep up dandruff. As well, Moringa leaves are rich in many important nutrients, including protein, vitamin B6, vitamin C, riboflavin, and iron. These are most of the nutrients that your hair needs for growth. So many of you that don't know Moringa. Well, I believe most of us are familiar with Moringa. This is Moringa. Moringa. This is the wet, as in the leaf of Moringa is not yet dry. What we are using is the dry leaf. Now, so many of you will ask, how do you get your Moringa dry? You cut this Moringa, this leaf now. You dry it under room temperature, inside your room. It does not take time to dry. Three days is already dried. And so instead of using the, the wet leaf, we are not using it. We are using the dry leaf of Moringa. This is the dry one, the one I've already dried. This is it. This is the one I've already dried. You have your honey done pure honey you have your you can use any of the oil any one that you can your hand can get you can use olive oil i have my pierce baby olive oil or you can use coconut oil but what i'm using here is pierce baby olive oil okay now this dry leaf you blend it pour it into blender into blender and blend so after blending Receive it so as take away the chaff. But while when I'm using my I I always with the chaff and everything I do it together. When I finish, I use a dryer to blow everything up. But if you don't want it, you sieve it so that the chaff we the ones that didn't blend very well that the stick will come out. Okay, that is it. After saving it, I've gotten a smooth powder. You can see it. Now you measure. <coughs> measure it with your spoon. Why I use this to measure is to get a perfect measurement so that I don't overpour honey and uh, it will not be thick again as you make it to be a kind of a pest that can stick on your hair when applied okay let's say this is two spoon this is two spoon of moringa leaf powder the right leaf then you add One spoon of honey to it. And one spoon of oil. So you 
return it. This is how to make your moringa hair max. I'm going to change because I don't want it to stain my cloth. I'll show you how to apply it. Please stay tuned. It's still short, that's why. Right. But just follow me and see if it's time. So this is how you apply it, Moringa Max, on your hair. After applying it, you leave it like 45 to 1 hour. Then you rinse with your shampoo and hot water. Join me next time in our next edition of Beauty Hands. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my station, my channel. Click like and comment. Love you. Bye-bye. Messiano.